Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop vinyl figure. This one from Overwatch, number 180, May. This is also another very disliked character. <laughs> There's a lot of really hated characters in Overwatch. Uh, I mean, I can't wait till they release a Genji just so I can burn it. But, one in a set of six. Again, this one does have an alternate version. A uh, pink one, the mint, I think that's what they call her. So there's your chase figure from Funko Pop. Let's take a look at her. So basically the story behind May is she was a scientist for Overwatch, an organization that was set up to protect the world from Omnex and all the other threats. Uh, but they also had research wings uh, across the world, you know, for studying global warming, stuff like that. She does not stand well on her own, as you know. She's got a big base. A very big base, actually. She's got a very big base. Right here. Now, I've seen another base. A uh, weird one that swirls around. I don't know if that comes with the mint one or how that works. Which one is which? There is no... really should tell you which way these things go. I mean, this could go this way, although I doubt it. Feels more like it goes this way. How does, how does this fit in there? Fits in well. Then it's kind of tough to pop this in. There you go. So there you have her. The annoyance of a whole lot of people in the Overwatch community. Basically, what her weapon is, is she's got a little freeze gun there, and she's got two things she can do with it. She can basically shoot a stream of uh, ice at you and freeze you out, and then, you know, take you out with an ice pick, which she can also shoot out of her gun, which takes a while to charge, actually. She's got a little thing here in her hair. She's got a nice little bun. She's also gotten a lot of good uh, recall skins for her. It's got glasses on here. They just seem to be glued on there. They don't... This one does go in a little deeper. Classic Funko Dead Eyes, especially for the female with the eyelashes and everything. Very detailed little gun. The ice gun. Got a little ice pick coming out of it already. They did a great job on the outfit. Very accurate. A lot of them are accurate, but this one actually looks really good. Here she's got a little tank of liquid. And in game she's got a little robot that she'll throw out when she gets her ultimate. She's got a lot of cute little outfits. She's got a firefighter suit. She's got um what else? A bee costume and like a an Eskimo outfit as well. Head turns well. Um, actually is obstructed by this, the gun. So you can't get a complete turn out of her. Can't go full exorcist, boys. Sorry. No full exorcist. Yeah, she can all... Okay, her story, basically, she got... She was in Antarctica, and while she was there, they were hit by a storm. Her and her team took shelter in a couple of um, hibernation units that she designed. Uh, but apparently, all the other ones malfunctioned, and the scientists in them died. She was the only one that survived. And apparently, they didn't remember <laughs> the, the station for like 20, 30 years or something like that. 
so she's been recently thawed out. Cute little figure. I'd say probably the closest representation to one of the Overwatch characters. You know, with the, the, the character, the colors and stuff, it's very important. Reinhardt's pretty good, but then again, I mean, it's not that glistening chrome that, you know, he has in the game. This one really does look like it. Little thing dangles, doesn't dangle a whole lot, so it doesn't really, not good for moving. Best just leave it alone. Anyway, there you have her. May from Overwatch. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.